<clears throat> the following video does not mean to imply that any nose shape is better than another, rather to show how you can contour your features using cosmetics without undergoing plastic surgery. My message is always that you are beautiful just as you are. However, this is just a fun idea for those who want to play around with makeup. I also am neither condoning nor supporting plastic surgery through this video. Love you guys. I'm going to show you guys how to get plastic surgery on your nose without the plastic surgery. <laughs> This is Jen and welcome back to my channel. I might be speaking a little bit softer in today's video because it is late. It is past midnight here in Korea. We just got back from a long dinner out in Hongdae. It was really nice tonight. And I just really felt like coming home and filming a short and easy tutorial for you guys. My nose, I've addressed it in previous videos. A lot of people ask me if I've done plastic surgery since I arrived in Korea because it looks pointier and smaller, but it really is probably just because of makeup. So yes, as you can see, I haven't done anything to my nose. Uh, when I smile, it does widen. No smiling. I'm smiling. So I'm going to show you guys how to get plastic surgery on your nose without the plastic surgery using two simple products and just a couple of brushes. So what you'll be needing is a contour color that is a little more on the cool tone rather than warm and reddish. I would definitely recommend something more ashy and maybe just about two shades darker than your normal skin tone. So I'm using this Too Cool For School Art Class by Rodin, which you guys all know. And this has three different shades in there and it can be cream, liquid or powder, but I do recommend powder if you're new to makeup or if you're worried about making mistakes and you don't want to ruin the foundation underneath. Another thing you'll need is a highlighter. I do recommend a powder highlighter as well, although liquid and cream highlighters can be really nice too. I'm going to be using MAC's Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Beaming Blush. This is a beautiful highlight with a slight rose gold undertone to it. I'll be using my Muse White brushes because that's what I use on an everyday basis when I do my makeup. I did design these brushes for multi-function use to be used not only for the eyes but specifically to be used for the nose as well and just contouring anywhere around the face. So before this gets too long, let us start. Let's get started. Okay, so starting with the contour color, grab a little brush. For me, I like to use something that has a little bit of an edge so that I can get a really precise line first. So I'm going to be using the Muse 177 Flat Eyeshadow Brush. As I said, it's multi-function use and you can use it for anything you want. You can do that with any tools that you have. And then I'm gonna use the 176 Small Blender Brush to blend it all out afterwards. So first of all, I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this color in the middle, take a little bit on the tip. And I usually like to sort of mix it into this lighter color as well. Make sure to tap off the excess product. So I usually take it from the beginning of my brow. I'm gonna deepen that. So that's gonna make my nose bridge around here look taller, which is virtually flat for me. So I'm gonna take it down that way and then blend it out. Can you see the difference already? And then instead of going straight down all the way, I kind of leave this part here next to the eye because it does look really unnatural when you've got that inner part done. I'm gonna start around here with my nose. It's just about here. I'm gonna just make it pointier by just taking it down the side of my nose in a line like that. Finishing next to the nose nostril. I'm gonna take a little bit more, do the other side. So inner part of the eye, like a circular triangle. So it kind of like sculpts my eye area too. So as you can see, I've got like these two lines down here. It could look a little bit harsh. What I do is I start to blend it down the sides. I also blend the sides of my nostrils as well. And then that's when I take my small blender brush and blend it. Next, I take the 178 Pencil Eyeshadow Brush. It's actually made for like inner corner highlight, but I love using it to just sharpen the tip of my nose down here and make little indents. Um, those indents really make the nose look nice and pinched. So what I do is I take a little bit of the darker color as well, once or twice, because it's okay to be really dark there. And then just above the nostril, not right above it, but a little bit more inwards. I'm going to make an indent like this. Can you see how that brought that tip of my nose way forward? I'm gonna take it again on this side. And then with the rest on the brush, I'm just gonna blend it upwards on the under part of the nose. 
Next, because we just have this like bam plank of a nose, I'm going to chop it up, making it little button nose by going across the nose bridge like this. Take it into the middle contour color. And it's really important to go pretty light with this step, but you can still blend it out if it is a little too much. So, so take your pinky, take it on the tip of the nose. You're going to leave that part for highlight. So we're going to go just above that part there. Okay, we're going to draw a line across the nose. And then you just might want to take your finger and blend it a little. And that's basically it. That's it. I'm not sure if you can tell with the lighting. My nose looks really pointy, kind of like... What's it called? It just looks a lot more defined. And if you go overboard a little bit, it's really easy. Just take your fingers, literally, and just smudge it. Just make sure you smudge it in an outwards motion from the center and smudge it out. So another tip is you can just take a little bit of cushion foundation, a really slight bit, excess amount on the back of your hand, and then slightly tap it over your nose. It'll be enough just to blend it out and make it look less harsh. So you saw how simple that was for contouring. Once you get the hang of it, you'll do it in like 30 seconds, literally. So next we're gonna go on to highlighting the nose and highlighting is super simple. You just need any kind of brush that deals with the tip of the nose and can be precise enough yet not too thin and dense. A little bit more fluffier, can even be a fan brush. So taking the MAC Skin Finish in Beaming Blush, which is beautiful. I'll take this brush today. I'm gonna use the concealer brush, tap off the excess. So I'm taking down the bridge of my nose. And then once I get to the tip, I'm just gonna highlight the sides as well. Try not to go too overboard with the highlight because it could look really obvious. We want this strip to kind of come forward on the face and also the forehead to kind of come forward. Also the top of the cheeks, but that's for another tutorial. Okay, so why am I doing this? So yes, that's basically it. Um, if I've done too much of a strip down here and we've lost that nose bridge here, I usually do go over again with a little bit of the contour across that line, like so. yeah that is it and i'm going to show you guys the before and after right here so you can see the difference between my nose before plastic surgery and after plastic surgery <laughs> Yeah, if you guys would like more tutorials like these that's more specific, maybe a contouring tutorial for the rest of the face, I don't know, anything, let me know in the comments section below. I hope you guys enjoyed this midnight quickie. Um, if it helped you guys, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Skincare routine is coming soon. Um, I just ran out of some of my products which I had to restock, so I'm waiting for them to arrive because I've run out. So once all my skincare products are replenished, I'm gonna film that video and let you guys know what I love using on my skin these days. So yeah, I hope you guys are excited. I hope you guys have a great week. Stay beautiful inside and out and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys. Have a good So for me, I'm gonna be using Max Extra Dimension. <laughs> Why can't I talk?